Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today I'm going to share with you what are the best companies for you to target if you want to go and buy other businesses. So hey, if you're new to this channel, uh, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey in the space of buying businesses. I've been involved in multiple businesses over the last 10 years. Right now we're looking to sell businesses, buy businesses, uh, raise capital to some of our portfolio businesses. We have a few roll-ups in different industries as well. And look at some of my other videos or the links in the description below if you want to see an A to Z training of how that process works. Other than that, so this video is going to be all about, I'm getting lots of questions. People ask me, what are the best type of companies to target if I want to go out there and buy a business? So we're going to dive into that and I'm going to share with you uh, based on my experience and some of my clients' experience. And I have clients who bought anywhere between one to three businesses a year and I'll share with you what worked for them if they have experience or not. So to begin with, um, obviously, I always suggest to people that if you don't have a sector in mind, ideally find a sector that combines your passion, your experience and your contacts, right? But let's, let's assume you already did that and then you have a few sectors in mind. What's next? So as the next phase, I would say if you don't have anything in mind and you just don't really care, um, like me personally at this stage, I care less about the industry, although we are focused on tech, if I have good deals in other industries, I don't care about the industry, I care about a business being a good business. I mean, business is just business in the end of the day. It's making sure more money coming in than money going out. So if you're not sure about what specific sector, I would say pick a sector that is in the, in the B2B um, area. So business to business, right? And the reason for that is because when you're looking to buy a business, the more assets the acquisition target have on the balance sheet, the easier for you it will be to finance the deal. So for example, any B2B business, so right with a business you have a balance sheet, you have assets, liabilities, and with a B2B business you have lots of accounts receivables on the balance sheet or trade debtors in the, in, in the UK, and those are the easiest type of assets for us to finance. Hence why if you're not sure about what specific type of business to target, I would say go and pick uh, a B2B business. That's assuming they have a lot of assets. The other option would be if you're looking at few businesses, I would say the other best option is to pick a business with just amazing cash flow. Especially if you're from the US and you have good credit, you can go and use uh, an SBA loan. And then you have amazing opportunities for cash flow loans. And if you have a business with good, good cash flow, you can get amazing loan from the SBA and then buy amazing businesses as well. So that's just in a, in a nutshell, what would be my short answer for those questions. Go for your passion, experience, contact. That's the first criteria. Then if you're not sure, pick a B2B sector. And then um, after B2B, pick a business with a good cash flow because then you'll have just more opportunities with financial institutions on what type of businesses to buy. So I hope that answers that. If you want to see some more in-depth training of how some of my clients are buying one to three businesses a year, um, some of them came to me with no experience, no track record, and they bought a million, at least a million dollar business a year um, with existing management team in place and then they're able to step back and have a good lifestyle and just chill or just do more deals like some of them do. So go and check the links in the description below. Other than that, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, comment below, subscribe and all that. And yeah, I'll see you soon.